spring comes to the Northern Hemisphere and after a long cold winter, the waters of the Northeast Atlantic come alive once again. Scotland is a land of mountains, locks, forests and rivers. Vast areas of wilderness promote a rich habitat for wildlife, a rarity these days in densely populated Europe. Britain's coastal seas once supported some of the most productive fisheries on our planet. Sadly, decades of overfishing have left the surrounding seas substantially depleted and the fishing fleets of old were scrapped long ago. Although long overdue, a planned network of marine protected zones brings genuine hope for future recovery. The Isle of Mull lies off the west coast of the Scottish mainland and both at land and at sea, it is one of the most diverse wildlife destinations in the world. Heading out from the picturesque village of Tobermory, we soon encounter one of the area's iconic species. These waters are open to nearly 3,000 miles of the North Atlantic, making eerily calm days such as these a rare event. Yet common and bottlenose dolphins, orcas and minke whales are all commonly seen here. In total, 23 species of cetaceans live in British seas, ranging from the small harbour porpoise right through to giant fin whales. The ancient islands of Col and Turee are made from rocks formed in the Precambrian period over three billion years ago. Common and grey seals can be found here in abundance. In fact, Scotland is home to 40% of the world's grey seal population. These large, inquisitive and playful seals are a big draw to wildlife fans and divers alike but they can become a little too friendly for an animal that can grow over three metres long and weigh a third of a tonne. Despite fun with dolphins and seals, the focus of any visit to this area is a rarely seen giant, the enigmatic and mighty Baskin shark. Growing up to 12 metres long, Baskin sharks are the second largest fish in the ocean. And although they are found in temperate waters worldwide, there are only a handful of locations known where you can see them with any degree of consistency. Baskin sharks pass seawater through their mouths and then over their gills where they sieve out the zooplankton that they feed on. Nutrient rich arctic currents mix with the warm waters of the Gulf Stream to promote an environment capable of sustaining massive plankton blooms. In turn, this can trigger massive aggregations of sharks where many hundreds can be seen. To encounter so many sharks feeding at the surface in such calm conditions was the culmination of a decade-long quest. The fact that it occurred on the eve of the summer solstice left me wondering, did it really happen or was it just a midsummer night's dream? <laughs> 